this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your D-Link DVA2800 modem for a fibre broadband connection. Remember, before you open your modem and begin the setup, you must wait until your broadband is connected with us. We'll send you a text message to let you know when your broadband connection is active and when you can start to set up your modem. So step one, check your ONT is turned on. So make sure your ONT is turned on at the wall. Your ONT is the white box that connects your fibre broadband into your house. You know it's on if it's turned on on the wall. Once turned on at the wall, the power button should be flashing. Step two, connect your modem. So using the yellow ethernet cable included in your modem pack, you need to connect that to the red WAN port of your modem. So plug that into the red port. You need to connect that into the hole of your ONT, the white box on the wall, and that needs to go into the hole that says LAN1 or GE1. If you can't see the label, it's written underneath, so you might need to get underneath there to make sure you've got the right hole. Step two, you need to connect your modem to the power. So to do so, connect the hole next to the power box, you'll see a socket. So plug that one in there and plug the other side into the power and turn it on at the wall. You'll know that it's on when the power button is lighted, lit up. So after about a minute, there should be a few lights that will be on on your modem so just wait 60 seconds for this so the lights that should be on after one minute will be power internet 2.4 G 5G Wi-Fi and WAN so just wait for those lights to all light up green and here we go. See, nice and easy. Now, if you have a landline phone and you've got fiber, what you'll need to do is you'll need to use the gray cable that comes in your pack. So what you need to do is you need to connect this into the back of your modem. If you can see there is a VOIP1, these are the black ones here. So connect that into VOIP1, and if you've just got one phone, you need to connect the other end into the actual phone, so it might be a cordless phone. Now if you've got multiple phones in your home, you need to connect the other side into the voice box next to your ONT. So you need to plug this into socket 1. Once again, that's underneath, so um, you might need to get low to check you've got it. So that's from the VOIP1 to the voice box. And then you should be able to use your modem for all the holes in your home.